Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a um, love reading for you uh, for December 2020. We're going to take a um, nine card tarot spread. Before we do that, we'll take three romance angels and three moonology, just to give an indication of the direction the reading's heading. Uh, for the tarot itself, uh, nine cards, left hand side is going to be your energy, right hand side your person, down the middle for the pair of you. Energies can cross, so however it fits in your um, scenario, change it as you wish. Um, we'll have a card each for current energies, how you feel about each other, uh, action towards each other. Down the middle we'll have a blockage, advice from spirits and potential outcome. We'll clarify those and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Libran, so do check out your moon rising, especially Venus with it being love, um, or any stellium you have in your chart. For further messages, uh, the channel's growing fantastically, uh, well over 5,000 now, it's incredible. Um, it's all down to the likes, subscribes, shares, comments, it triggers the algorithms on YouTube, sends me far and wide and continues the growth, so if you haven't done so already, please do, it's much appreciated. And if you want to delve into your own situation, uh, check out the description box for details of private readings. Okay, Libra, your first romance angel is trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Interesting. Your person, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And between the both of you, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Okay, so possibly somebody, um, well, forgive and learn is between the both of you, so you're obviously possibly uh, separated at the moment. This could be the one, bottom of the deck. Interesting. So either somebody needs to learn something or somebody needs to f um, uh, forgive and someone needs to say sorry. <laughs> Not necessarily. Could be just forgiving and learning from past behaviours for you both. Okay, trust we have. Be bold and make the first move, Libra. It's on your side. And heart to heart conversations with your person. Your dreams need a practical plan. Taurus energy. You could have Taurus in your chart, or they could. And between the both of you, forgiving and learning. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, interesting. Bottom of the deck. Step out of your comfort zone. So, two more. Death with Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. This is divinely guided. So turn it down a bit. I think you've had your heart broken, Libra. But strangely enough, I feel like it's you that's ran away. Knight of Swords. You've run away from this connection. Maybe you only... F this is how you feel about the person. Maybe you only saw heartache in the future. So that you... That was your action. Knight of Wands. Player energy. Maybe there were just a few passionate encounters, possibly. Um, I kind of feel like there was just a major fear from you. In regards to this person, you just didn't want your heart breaking. Their current energy is the Page of Cups. There's an element of youthfulness to it. Um, they're strategizing something, I can't think why. Definitely Taurus energy here. How you see, how they see you as uh, the hierophant, Taurus energy. They feel a soul connection to you. 
But their actions are seven of swords, and that's what's baffling me here. I will clarify these, obviously. The blockage is the nine of cups. As a blockage, nine of cups does uh, speak of excess. You know, too much drink, drugs, whatever. It's an, an excess of some kind. It's somewhere, even, maybe even working too much. Uh, you know, maybe ploughing your life into work so you'd have to think about this connection. Your advice is the world. Uh, this, this cycle's not over yet. So I kind of feel like there's going to be certainly heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Maybe that's what that is. They're going to reveal everything to you. The Seven of Swords. The outcome is the Queen of Wands. Again, a lot of passion here. And the way that they're looking at each other here, you know, the... I, I can see you... <laughs> to put it blunt, getting back into bed with them, put it that way. Um, let's just see if it's going anywhere, though. Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, Six of Wands. They could be on a spiritual path or you could be. Um, they may be in the limelight, doing quite well, getting popular. Yeah, there's some sort of spiritual connection here, the High Priestess is here. So... Your current energy is the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. You ran away from this and cut them out. And now, because of that, how you felt you they were going to be, to, they were going to break your heart, now you're looking at it as a missed opportunity. Your actions is the Knight of Wands with the Five of Wands. So you may be, um, this person may have options now, uh, and you're going into... Um, Be counted, is probably what I've heard the word I'm hearing, hearing there. Page of Cups is clarified by the Three of Pentacles for your person's current energy. So they could be um, working in collaborations with people. Um, starting the pages are all something new, so they could be starting some sort of new venture. Um, how did they How do they feel about you, the Hierophant? There was a spiritual connection, but disappointment. Um, they're looking at the Three of Cups. They want to reconcile with you. They're looking at the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of reconciliation. You're both doing it. You're both staring at the reconciliation cards. Um, Libra. Both staring at the reconciliation cards. But nobody's acting. Seven of Swords. Um, their action is with the Nine of Pentacles. They're strategizing their financial independence. I'm going to take another card for that. Make sure I'm right. With a death card, yeah. Um, they're transforming their finances. So they may have had a rough patch financially, but they're um, they're getting on top of things now. The blockage is the Nine of Cups with the Seven of Cups. So again, I feel like maybe overindulgences possibly, uh, too much drink. Um, but also, this is your wish fulfillment. However, I do feel like they've got options now, hence why you're running back in to be counted. Again, I need just can switch, but uh, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, the advice is the world with the chariot. This, there's still another cycle with this person. You may even travel the world together. Um, Cancer Capricorn energy there. You may have that in your chart, or they do, or you both do. Uh, but the the outcome is the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning for you. You're upgrading from the Queen, uh, the Knight to the Queen. Uh, and I kind of feel it's all because of this connection. So like, essentially, you got to fight, stand up, and be counted. Um, it's the message. There. Let's take one more for that outcome. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. 
with the Father of Pentacles. Yeah, wow, what a combination. The Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Um, fire, passion, but also stability and commitment. Fantastic. Beautiful connection, um, Libra. Um, there's possibly a bit of competition. I, if there is competition, just remember that this person is staring at the Three of Cups just like you are. They want reconciliation as well. So don't worry about that. So you could be dealing with uh, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, may have that, those in your chart or your chart. But we've got swords, we've got cups, we've got pentacles, we've got wands. Everybody's here. Those are your standouts though. So Libra, stand up and be counted. All right, fight for this. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, following the channel. Let me know if it resonates and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.